Overclocking is a common term used online and among tech communities, but what does it actually mean and should you do it? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. First, let's look at what overclocking is. Overclocking is the process of increasing the clock rate or frequency of a computer's CPU, GPU or other hardware component beyond the manufacturer's specifications. This is typically done to improve the performance of hardware, such as increasing the processing speed of the CPU or GPU, thereby potentially enhancing the performance of the entire system. Think of it like when a vehicle's max speed is limited by the manufacturer because of regulations or safety concerns. In some cases, the limiter can be removed, allowing the vehicle to reach its maximum possible speed. This is similar to what's happening when you overclock a CPU or GPU. Every CPU and GPU operates at a certain clock speed measured in gigahertz for CPUs and megahertz for GPUs. This clock speed determines how many instructions the processor can execute per second. Overclocking involves increasing this clock speed beyond its default value, increasing the number of instructions the component can execute per second and therefore increasing its performance. Let's look at some of the pros and cons of overclocking to work out if you should do it yourself. Starting with the pros, overclocking can lead to improved performance in tasks that are heavily reliant on processing power, such as gaming, video editing, and 3D rendering. Overclocking can also provide a cost-effective way to boost the performance of your hardware without having to invest in new components. For users looking to squeeze extra performance out of their existing hardware, overclocking can be a good option. Moving on to the cons, overclocking increases the amount of heat generated by the hardware. This can lead to higher operating temperatures and increased power consumption. Without adequate cooling, overclock components may become unstable or even damaged due to overheating. Furthermore, overclocking typically voids the warranty of the hardware components being overclocked. Manufacturers often consider overclocking as a form of misuse or tampering and may refuse to honor warranties for damaged components. Have you ever overclocked a component and what have your experiences of it been? Let me know down in the comments and please do subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching.